Thanks for joining us guys and welcome to the Power Platform in real life. Now it's time to get our solution segmentation we discussed on part one video. If you haven't seen that video yet, have a look. It shows everything we'll build together. Our main goal with the solution segmentations are to help with continuous deployments and to get Dynamics 365 environments to behave the same without having to make that a hassle. How do we do it? We create segmented solutions and deploy only those. Sounds simple, right? There is no right or wrong when it comes to solution segmentation, but there are for sure better ways than others on the long run. Let's just talk a little bit of what's not recommended when deploying solutions to managed environments. Please avoid having one big solution that contains all customization components. Chances are either your pipeline will take too long to run, or you will redeploy over and over again components that don't need to be changed, which can bring inconsistency between environments because of it. This is very true with flows and connection references. That's why we highly recommend to have one solution for connection references and a separate for flows. We'll cover this discussion in a later video. Another thing to be careful, believe it or not, it's very common for teams to deploy release one, release two solutions to the target environment, where a lot of other components in release one is actually in release two. In managed environment, if you keep doing it, we can guarantee that by release three or four, you will have environments behaving differently. And now you're spending a lot of our time to understand why that's happening. At the end of the day, it's your call deciding on how to organize the solutions. But it doesn't hurt to hear the life experience for those that suffered before, right? Let's create a core solution. For every project we do, we create a core solution. Most of the times it contains table, feuds, relationship, and view components. But you may decide to include other component types as well, depending on your needs. Make sure you're in dev environment. By the way, if you don't have your environments ready, you gotta go as a system admin and create those. Please let us know in the comment if you'd like to see that video. For now, it's out of the scope of this video. Click solutions, give it a name, select its publisher. If this is your first solution, avoid using the default publisher for deployments. Instead, create one by clicking new and give it a name and a prefix. Our core solution is created. Now let's add customization to a table component and add fields to account. In this scenario, our core solution will contain table and fields component types. That's great. Now we're ready to repeat the same process for the other solutions. Make sure we include the respective component or components type for each one of those solutions. And there you go. Now we have our solution segmentations in an unmanaged state in our dev environment. Mm -hmm.